What if I tell you, you can now create stunning looking websites for your brands in less than five minutes using AI. So all you gotta do is to explain exactly what kind of website you want to the AI tool. And with the press of a button, the AI goes ahead and creates four variations of the website and you can select the best one out of it and get going from there. You can then customize the website the way you want to, like adding new blocks, removing existing block, making changes to the styling, the layout, the alignment, making changes to the textual content, the changing colors, changing images. This AI builder gives you complete freedom. Well, I'm talking about the Mobirites AI website builder. And the interesting part is that Mobirites even has a free plan that allows you to create up to three websites completely for free without having to pay anything. I know if that sounds interesting, without wasting any more time, let me quickly jump onto my computer screen and show you Mobirize in action. So this right here is Mobirize AI website builder and this is the website builder that I've been talking about. And now if you do want to explore this website builder, the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to their official website that is ai.mobirize.com. And now this is the AI website builder where you can just give a simple text prompt and turn it into a website. So as you can see, it says generate any website with AI and towards the center, you can find an input box. And now all you got to do is to explain the kind of website that you want to build like describe the same in here and with the press of a button that is click on this generate website button and the AI will go ahead and create four variations of it and you can select the best one out of it and now the even cooler part is that you can directly publish the website right within this interface or even download the source code as a zip file so first thing first head over to the first link in the description below and head over to Mobirize AI website builder and now as I scroll down here we have a community section and here I'm able to find all these websites that other people have created using this platform right here for example, let's say this one right here. So I can click on this button right here to open a preview of the same. All right. So this right here is the website. So it says transform your business with cutting edge uh, solutions. All right. We have this carousels, cards, pricing tables. Okay. Team section, user reviews. Okay. Now in a similar fashion, you can pretty much visit any of these websites in the community section right here. Maybe I'll open a different one. Let's say this one right here. So this is yet another one. So it says fantasy spike. Okay, looks good. And now even without signing up, you can actually go ahead and regenerate this website. So towards the right side, you can actually find the prompt that was used to create this particular website. And you can also find an option called as regenerate. So as soon as I click on this regenerate button right here, now the AI will create a different variation of that particular website in a different design. The content will pretty much stay the same, but it has actually created a different design. And now maybe I can click on it once again. And let's see, there you go, an entirely different version. All right. So if you want to, you can actually go ahead and explore all these websites in the community section right here, view it and even regenerate it so that you can find it in a different variation. Look at that. We have a nice floating nav bar. Okay. All of that looks good. And next up, let's just say I want to create a website for my web development agency. For that, all I got to do is to give a simple prompt in this input box right here. So here I have entered a website for my web development agency that provides web development and design services. And now all I got to do is to click on this generate website button right here. Now all you got to do is to explain the kind of website that you want to build. And now I'll click on this generate website option right here. So it says generating pages. So let's wait. Okay. Creating a page for a web development agency offering design and development services. Great. So it will take a few seconds. So I'll wait till it is done. Oh, it is already done. And now as you can see, it says choose your favorite layout. Now, as soon as we gave a prompt, it has went ahead and created four variations of the design. And as you can see, this one is the first one. This is the second one. This is third and this is fourth. So in this case, I actually like, let's say, hmm. I like, let's say this one the most. So I can select the same. Or if you want to regenerate it entirely, you can click on this button called as regenerate fast. And now the AI will go ahead and create another four variations. Oh, all right. So I like this one the most. So I can select the same. So all you gotta do is to select the design that you like the most and then click on this continue button. And now you can go ahead and make, start making changes on top of it. Like you can customize the website whatever way you want to. So it says mobilize AI online loading. So basically it is now loading the AI editor and there you go. You can now find a real time preview of the website. And this writer is the website that the AI has created. It says code, create, conquer. All right. A couple of cards in here. Okay. Okay. Now the interesting part here is that you have total flexibility to edit the website, whatever way you want to, for example, let's say I want to change something about this particular session right here. So it says our digital arsenal. If I want to, I can actually go ahead and make changes to the text in here. Like I can, edit each and individual text within this website like this and I can maybe change the heading order 
so for this one i'll keep it as let's say heading 2 looks good if i want to i can change the color so in this case let's say okay i'll click on this more button and maybe something along the lines like this like this okay okay this one looks good and next step let's just say i want to change these icons so here we have four cards and four icons let's say i want to change the icon of this one right here so i can simply click on the same and now it opens up the icon selector and now all i gotta do is to select the icon that i want to use so in this case let's say i want to use this icon so i can select the same and now if you want to add a link you can put that up in here looks good and now i'll click on this insert icon option and as you can see the same has been updated in here and now if you want to move it left or right you can actually move it left okay move it right and left like this and you can rearrange the same and next up let's just say i want to adjust the alignment or padding and you know uh, margin and stuff like that for that i can select this uh, element like this and now i can click on this cog button it says block parameters and now as soon as i click on that same it now opens up all these parameters that i can change for example right now it is in full width so if i want to i can change it okay so this is how it looks so in this case i like it this way and now i can adjust the padding and margin like this and maybe bottom one okay let me see and now i can toggle the visibility like card name the role card buttons and all that okay looks good so background is currently set as color so if you want to let's say keep an image as background you have options for that and if you want to enable parallax effect and all that you can enable it from here so when you scroll you will have that nice parallax effect now let's say i want to change the color so maybe let's say something along the lines of let's say this one right here and okay so that is how you change the color for now i'll keep it as the default one and next up if i click on this paintbrush icon that says edit side styles a pop-up something like this appears and you can change the color the background the primary colors the font the font size for title one title two and all that and if you whether you want to enable rounded corners rounded buttons whether you want to enable animation on scroll and you can even change the background color and now if you want to edit the same in the code editor you can click on this button right here and now it will open up the code editor where you can make changes to the code directly which is something that mostly you don't want to do right well you have options for that too so there you go it has opened up the code and now if you want to make any changes you can do it from here and now i'll cancel and close and next up let's just say i want to change this image right here so i can click on the same open the block parameters i'll select the image option click on this button right here and select a different image for example let's say i want to include uh this one right here so i can select the same and now click on ok so there you go the image has been changed and now if you have custom images you can go ahead and upload the same in here as well and next up let's just say i want to remove a particular section from the site for example let's say okay i don't want uh, let's say this particular section right here now all i gotta do is to click on this delete or they'll say the remove block option and now as soon as i click on this one a pop-up appears i can click on ok and now the same is removed and next up if you want to let's say add even more elements or blocks to this your website you have options for that too and for that all you gotta do is to click on this plus button right here so it says add block to the page it opens up a page like this where you can actually drag and drop pretty much any of these elements into your website for example let's say i want to add let's say this section right here trusted by partners in bloom so let's say i want to add the same uh so in this section right here so all i gotta do is to drag the same and drop it in here and now there you go here we have the same in here next up let's say i want to add this contact session so i'll scroll all the way down and let's say i want to add this contact session here so let's say i don't want this section so i can delete the same i'll click on ok i'll open it and I, let's say i want to add this one so i can simply drag and drop the same in here and there you go so in a similar fashion you can actually go ahead and add forms list pricing table all these social profile links chat pop-up custom htmls and you can actually add any of this so it's pretty simple you drag and drop the same into your website and you should pretty much good to go and next up once it's added you can go ahead and make changes for example let's say i want to make change the color so i can open the block parameters now i can change the background colors the card color i can set the background as an image and now i can make changes to this and this is how you do it now the thing is that Initially, the AI will create four variations of the website and you can select the best one that you like the most and then you can go ahead and make changes on top of it. So it will initially create a website and then you can drag and drop pretty much any elements and make changes to it. And once everything is done, Mobirize even gives you the option to publish the same. So towards the top right, you will find a button called as publish. So it says publish online or export. And let me click on that one. 
and now it gives you two options the first one is to publish the same on a subdomain and the second one is to download the same in a zip file so first of all i'll click on this publish option okay let's say i'll put it as let's say astro kj i'll click on publish let's wait so it is preparing the index.html file the js files and all the assets and once it's done it will be deployed or let's say published so let's wait all right so there you go it says your site is published and is live online and now i can visit this link look at that the website that we just developed is live and there you go looks good and now if i want to i can change all these icons all these images text and everything else and that's how it is and next up let's just say you want to download the website or let's say export the code you have options for that too i can click on this button right here and this time around i'll select this option that is download in zip file and i'll click on this button right here and there you go here it have downloaded the zip file and i can open it up and there you go here we have the index html file okay all these assets the js files css files all the images themes and everything else is in here and if you want to you can open it up in a different ai coding editor let's say like cursor and start making changes on top of it as well so this is basically how you use mobirize ai website builder and now if you do want to create a website for your brand all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to mobirize.com or ai.mobirize.com sign up for a new account and you can to start creating websites and they even have a free plan as well so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one